This is the Logitech Mevo Core, a camera focused on live streaming that makes it easier to live stream and do this. Let's talk about it. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Logitech and they sent over two of these cameras and some lenses for it. But I do genuinely think that this is an interesting product. When you think of live streaming, you probably imagine a single camera setup, front and center, with the streamer live streaming their desktop alongside it, because that's relatively simple and easy to set up and use. All you really need is a single camera, the wires aren't super messy, and it's easy to set up too. But when you start considering multi-camera situations so that you can get different angles for the perfect shot, that's when things get frustrating and headache inducing. You need batteries for each of the cameras. They all have to be connected to the computer somehow. You gotta be able to adjust the settings of each one and switch between them all at once. It's so complex. Logitech aims to solve this complexity with the Mevo Core, a 4K wireless camera made for their Mevo ecosystem of products that can be used to live stream, to be used as a webcam during calls, and as a full blown mirrorless camera. Let's talk about the camera itself first. You probably noticed this already, but the Mevo Core supports interchangeable lenses, which means you can purchase lens used on other cameras and mount them on the Mevo Core, or you can change how an image looks to however you like without being forced to a fixed lens like you would with the webcam or action camera. The Mevo Core uses a micro four thirds sensor as well as a micro four thirds lens mount that enables you to switch out the lens to other Micro Four Thirds lenses made by other manufacturers. With a Micro Four Thirds sensor, the camera takes in more light than tiny webcam or phone sensors, making them less noisy in lower light environments, leading to clearer images. The Mevo Core's shape is a little weird though. It's boxy square shaped, but the funky layout provides a few benefits too. It has different mounting points on each of the sides, so you can mount the Mevo Core from basically any of its sides to stands or tripods, or easily attach accessories like lights, external monitors, or mics to it. And since it uses micro four third lenses, you can even attach things like ND filters and teleprompters. Basically, you can mount most standard camera equipment and accessories to this camera. After all, it is a micro four thirds camera. On the back, it has two USB type C ports, one for power and the other for computers, so that the Miva Core can be used as a webcam or power different accessories for the camera. It also has an audio jack, so you can plug in external microphones as your audio device. Then there's little flap that if you peel open, reveals a micro SD card slot and HDMI port. You can use the micro SD card slot to record directly to the camera and use the HDMI port to connect to a monitor to see what the camera is seeing or to plug into an external recorder. The Mevo Core has rechargeable batteries in them that last up to six hours, so you don't have to use them connected to a wall outlet and can record directly to each of them at once. The webcam function can be used wirelessly or wired for both video and audio, but video fidelity from both of those methods are a step down compared to direct recordings to the micro SD card. One thing I quickly noticed is how there's no display or buttons, so you can't control camera functions or see what you're shooting. I purposely took this out and tried to use it as a standard camera, but since these things are connected to your phone or tablet wirelessly, there is a slight delay, making it a bit difficult to use it like a regular mirrorless camera. So then how do these Mevo cameras work then? Okay, so basically the Mevo cameras are controlled through the Mevo Multicam app for phones and tablets. This app controls everything about the Mevo Core. It can be used to connect the Mevo Core or other Mevo related cameras together including a mix of Mevo Core and, well, their start cameras. In the app, you can do other things as well, such as adjust the camera settings like white balance, your aperture, how much zoom is on the particular lens, the exposure, ISO, shutter speed, and even resolution. So all the controls are moved off camera and into this Mevo Multicam app. But what makes the Mevo camera stand out is that you can control each of these connected cameras all from this Mevo app. So right now you can see I am looking at this camera over here, but my main camera is over here. The display on the right over here, this main display, shows you what your audience would be seeing while you're live streaming. So if I wanted to switch over to this camera, there you go. This camera is now the main camera that's on display and you can switch back and forth with ease. So through this multicam app, you can live stream to a bunch of different platforms like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, X, and LinkedIn, if <laughs> that's your thing. So whatever flavor of live streamer that you are, you're covered. But if you want more functionality, like using your phone, tablet, or using additional NDI cameras as a Mevo camera in the app, you'll need to pay for a Mevo Pro subscription. Additionally, the feed, this feed from the Mevo Multicam app, if you wanna use this in tools like Streamlabs or OBS, you'll also need 
a Mevo Pro subscription. Individually, these Mevo Core cameras do have NDI support, so you can use these devices in Streamlabs or OBS without a subscription. You just won't get the switching mechanics of this program in there. Now, when it comes to actual video quality that comes out of the Mevo Core, it depends heavily on how you're recording. You can also stream this feed while recording to the micro SD card as kind of backup footage. And when you are recording to the micro SD card, the footage that comes out of this thing looks like a mirrorless camera because this is a mirrorless camera. So at this point, you've probably realized that this entire time I've been recording this talking headshot right here from nothing but the Mevo Core. So you tell me, how has this video looked so far? And this is how the audio on the onboard microphone sound. They sound pretty decent and my voice sounds clear, but there is some echoing because the camera is a little over an arm's length away from me. And with the right equipment, you can use the Mevo Core in a bunch of different other ways too. So this is already a good example, right? I have one camera in front of me, while another one a bit off axis and a bit further away to give you a completely different perspective. And I can interchange myself between the two cameras and talk to whichever one I feel like in the moment. It adds a little bit of visual intrigue compared to just having one stationary camera look down deep into my soul. Okay, let's just say I was doing a live unboxing. I could switch between this talking headshot of me and an overhead shot of the Mevo Core, looking down at the item as I'm holding it in my hands. If I'm doing more of a conversation stream with another person, I could put a single camera on me and someone else, or if you're streaming alone, you could have two different angles of yourself for that extra layer of professionalism that I showed before. So far, I've only shown myself with two cameras in action, but you can add more cameras to this setup as needed. And when you're not using the Mevo Core to record shots or to live stream, you could use the Mevo webcam app on Mac OS or Windows to, well, use it as a webcam. All right, so overall, this camera has a bunch of really cool features that makes it easier for people starting out, but still has quite a few advanced features that moderate to advanced users would find pretty useful. And it makes multi-camera live streaming easier to do. At least I thought so. So if you're looking to take your live streaming setup to the next level, this could be an interesting solution. So if you're interested in the Mevo Core, where can you find one of these bad boys? Well, you can find them on Mevo.com, b &H Photo, and Amazon in the US or Canada. Anyway, what do you personally think? How are you live streaming? Are you live streaming? Does a camera ecosystem focused on making multicam live streaming easier, entice you in any way? Why or why not? Leave all that down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And well, I'll see you all next time. Bye.